Hey, it's Roger. Uh, a few days ago, I showed you guys how we were ranking for 401 words, keywords, key phrases for a local HVAC contractor who's in a high, uh, comp high competition market, very competitive. It's uh, a place on the beach and it is home sale for five to $10 million and there are condos everywhere. Uh, Governor Huckabee lives there, a bunch of country music stars vacation there. It's just a wild, crazy area where there are a lot of people with a lot of money and uh, they're all vacation homes. So um, it was important to get this guy going and we got him going and we do that through several ways. On page optimization, schema, um, Digging, I can dig into those points, but that's really not for this video. What I want to show you now is what we do once we get all the on page done, uh, which is the first thing that's the very first thing that we do. Um, that happens Come all in the fun, first month of a client being onboarded. And the second thing we do is we create cloud stacks because all of these clouds have a very high DA, domain authority. And getting those links back from those high DA websites like Amazon, um, you know, uh, Oracle, let's see, we'll, we'll scoot in here and, and get some of them. Azure, Linode, DigitalOcean, Wasabi, S3, um, getting these links and creating these giant spider webs of content distribution, all those links are important. And they're important because all the people who say all you have to do is own page SEO and then just publish content once a month, we're beating the crap out of those people. And this is one of the ways that we're doing it. Our own page is probably better than anybody else's. Our schema is probably better than anybody else's. But this is what pushes things all the way to the top. And so what you're seeing right here in blue, this is the first way we do it. This is what we do first. We have a minimum of on-page work that we do and page creation like service area pages, service pages, and all the places we want a GMB to rank and a website to rank organically. So we build those service pages and service area pages, get all the on-page done correctly, and then this is how we start pushing them to the front page. And I'm talking about websites that were not even found in the top 500. We can push the service pages for each individual area up to the front page, which creates more power for the GMB as well. And everything you're seeing here in blue is exactly what we start with. Now, there is an issue in some areas, the competition's high. Think Manhattan, Los Angeles, uh, New York City, uh, Charlotte, Atlanta, places like that. So you may or may not be able to beat your competition with everything that you see here in blue. But that's why we have the rest of this diagrammed out. Because these are other cloud sites that are kind of out of the norm and not many people know about them. And we've spent a long time researching and gathering all of these different cloud sites. And we've got them labeled as to what they do and uh, a high level, not a tutorial, but high level instructions on how you should use them. And then each color is a different kind. And there's also, in addition to these cloud sites, there are more ways to get more backlinks and that's image upload sites, PDF upload sites, and of course expired domains, which is a little more complicated and usually um, people don't do this because they, 
don't have the they don't have the staff to get it done. It this takes a messenger. This takes a team of people to get it done, and um, we have a team of four people who run CloudStacks every day, all day, every week, every month. So that's how important these cloud stacks are. That's four out of the 10 uh, people that we have on staff. So these are important. They're very important. And here's, here's the most important. Other than the high DA that you get when you use these uh, cloud sites is you get domain diversification, all right, in your backlink profile. So it's not just using the top 10 or 8 or 6 cloud websites, you're getting domain diversification and Google sees that as all important. It's not a, it's not something that a lot of people concentrate on because they're trying to get uh, guest posts or um, edits, snitch edits and things like that. And those things take a lot of time to get them. But and, and these take a lot of time to get too. You have to produce really, really, really good content in order to make these cloud stacks work for you. And there are a lot of different recipes or formations you can use to do this. And this is just one way that we do it. We know this works. We, we ran it for three months with every client that we had and we know it works but we are testing other diagrams as well. And some of them are three deep, some of them are five deep. You can see here that these are, uh, they're, a lot of them are one deep, and then some of them are two deep, and then we've got some over here that are three deep. So three tiers of backlinking, sending all of that DA juice, link juice into the target URL. So when people tell you that they don't worry with cloud stacks, um, those are people that you can beat. It's very easy to beat people who don't get backlinks. And if you want to earn backlinks, you know, the honest way, quote unquote, the white hat way, and by writing good content, you're going to be behind. It's going to take you a year for you to get a website to move. My customers in local SEO will not wait for a year. So if you want to have customers and you want to have a team and you want to make your life easier, this is one of the ways to do it. Now, is it a simple process? No, it's not. We spend a lot of time and research on this and we get we can run one of these every got mail cut. four to five hours. That's how much we put into getting the right content. That includes keywords, entities, writing content, includes images. We also, we also SEO our images. People say it doesn't work, but it does. Is it going to move the needle by itself? No, it doesn't. But when you add it into everything else, it helps. When you have all of the SEO factors that you can possibly get into your efforts, all of it helps. And that's how we got 401 keywords on the front page. I knew this, this particular customer was a one-man show when he started. He had one truck and he worked out of his house and he needed some help. He, he could stand in his driveway and search for air conditioner repair and couldn't even find his own business name. That's why he came to me and he'd been paying somebody $1,500 a month for over a year. So somebody had been slagging him, dragging him and not, not really doing anything. But two years later, he has nine techs in the field and an office person and a very well diversified business. And now that's not simply contributed to SEO. SEO is just part of it. He also did some networking on his own with uh, property management companies 
and he created a good reputation for himself, which is exactly what he should have done. That's his part of the responsibility of building his business. SEO doesn't build a business by itself. It only gets the leads. So we got the leads for him. He took care of the rest of it, and now he has a, he has a very profitable business happening. So don't dismiss cloud stacks. If you can't or don't have the time to get this stuff done yourself, look around. There are people who provide these services and you don't have to ignore cloud stacks to beat your competitors. In fact, you should embrace cloud stacks to beat your competitors. A lot of people will tell you it doesn't work, but a lot of people have never gone this far. A lot of people will tell you it doesn't work, but a lot of people have never gone this far. Everybody that uses cloud stacks that I know goes further than anybody else because SEO is like being attacked by a bear. You don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun the person who's with you. That's all SEO is. If somebody is ranking above you, all you have to do to break into their space and push them lower down on the page is to do more than they've done. You got mail card. And you can do that by finding out what they've done, matching it, and then doing more than they've done. Winning in SEO is all about what the competition's doing. And the niche depends on the the profit the profitability of the niche depends upon the profitability of the business. So and local businesses like HVAC, roofing, businesses like that, they have a lot of competition because they have a lot of profit. But this is one of the ways that you can beat them. So hopefully that helps explain some of uh, that last video about the 401 keywords ranking on the front page with 197 in the number one position. This is part of the equation. But like I said, remember, sometimes just this is enough and everyone can afford to do this, even if you have to find a vendor to do it for you. So I hope that helps a little bit and keep going, keep going. Don't listen to the naysayers. When somebody says something doesn't work, it's usually because they haven't figured out how to make it work. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.